Getting to Know You, a weekly series highlighting the teachers and staff at Salem High School. And now your host, Salem High School Principal, Tracy Collier. Hello and thank you for joining us again. Today I'm here with Mr. Christopher Dodge. He's the Director of Career and Technical Education here at Salem High School, otherwise known as CTE. So thank you, Chris, for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Happy How, to be here. Good. How long have you been at Salem High School? Um, I came to Salem High School in 2005, originally as a science teacher, taught science for a year. And then I was a Dean of Students for a year. And since then I've been the CTE Director for, I believe, 11 years now. I had a lot of hats on here. So um, tell us about your role as CTE director. What does that entail? I know it's a lot in the job, but if you could just narrow it down to a, a couple key tasks. Yeah, first of all, being the CTE director is a great job to have in education. It's a very diverse um, set of programs, obviously. So sometimes I feel like I oversee 15 different <laughs> programs versus, you know, math or science mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, and just the, the nature of CTE, um, the, the students that we have, um, their strong desire to be there makes it uh, very rewarding and uh, just a, a really cool place to be. So what are some of the programs in CTE for those people who don't know? the types of things we offer. Yeah, so we have 13 different programs. Mm -hmm. um, I'll run through the list if you want. <laughs> it might, I might miss a few, but we, <laughs> um, one of our recent accomplishments is adding a cosmetology program. Historically, we had 12 programs in areas like automotive, carpentry, TV and media production, business, marketing, health science, um, culinary arts, engineering, biomedical science, like I said, I probably left a couple out, but yeah. uh, it's a very well-rounded program. Uh, we really offer career pathways in a lot of different areas uh, for students. And it's, it's just a lot of hands-on project-based learning for students. I mean, people, the community know they can come in and get a meal at Three Seasons. Shortly, they'll be able to go into cosmetology um, to get services there. Um, so it, it's a different kind of learning. Yeah, it is. We try to um, sort of emulate what students are going to mm -hmm. experience in business and industry, um, try to replicate uh, a work, a, a real world work environment. Mm -hmm. As an example, you mentioned culinary arts, operating a restaurant or automotive shop that emulates, you know, a, a high end repair shop mm -hmm. or a dealership um, that they might experience and students assume different roles within that, whether they're working the service desk, the parts counter, or acting as a technician, or carpentry students going on in site and doing projects. So it's, it's real world authentic learning, which, um, which is really a nice fit for me because my education style is, is very experiential. So, yeah. so and, and I know a lot of the teachers that are here, they're not just teachers, but they're from industry. They've worked in that field, so they yeah. bring a different set of skills. I think they bring a, a unique perspective. Mm -hmm. um, quite often uh, a classroom teacher has um, gone through a teacher prep program um, in college and then gone right into teaching and not necessarily had uh, broader work experiences whereas our CTE teachers have worked in business and industry mm -hmm. so they bring sort of that unique um, experience um, to the students which is really important um, in in passing that knowledge on. Yeah. But you're pretty involved at the state level for CTE so you can talk about what your your involvement at that level I mean CTE I know you're always advocating for those programs but Right, so I think it's important to note that uh, career and technical education is, is funded both by the state and through the federal government. Mm -hmm. um, we rec receive federal grant money each year to fund our programs and um, that money is allocated in a variety of ways, um, whether it's professional development or equipment or, um, you know, uh, different special populations that we have to cater to. The state is supportive in terms of providing um, tuition and transportation money. We are a regional receiving center for schools like Timberlane mm -hmm. and Wyndham, so our population is broader than just Salem students. As far as my involvement at the state level, um, it's, it's something that we need to be on the front lines. We're very 
closely aligned with the workforce and workforce development. Um, there's a lot of politics involved um, when you're connecting business and industry mm -hmm. to education um, and just advocating on behalf of career and technical education so it remains mainstream and an important part of New Hampshire education. Yeah, and I know while you've been here at Salem High School, you know, you follow the market demands closely and we've had to phase out a couple programs and bring in new uh, programs where the jobs are. Yeah, so we need to remain relevant, mm -hmm. as you said, with the workforce, and that's really our, our mission is to provide a skilled workforce for mm -hmm. New Hampshire um, and, and beyond that, not just, not just necessarily New Hampshire, but certainly our target is to keep our students mm -hmm. in-state and, and really fuel the New Hampshire economy. And we listen to our business industry partners. We listen to every program has a program advisory made up of post-secondary and industry professionals. Um, and we listen to what they have to say about the job market. We look at market data through Bureau of Labor Statistics and New Hampshire Employment Security. Mm -hmm. And it's just a continuous dynamic uh, process to make sure that we're meeting the needs of the students and the the New Hampshire workforce. Yeah, I know, uh, you know, our program here at Salem, thanks to you and all your efforts, is really the standard for the state. It's um, unbelievable opportunities that our, our students have, and part of that is the new building that we have. And um, I know you were really the one who kind of got this ball rolling. Can you tell us about the money that we were in line for and why we were bumped? And Yeah, so, um, New Hampshire has been very uh, good about uh, maintaining the CTE centers mm -hmm. and they're on a 25 year renovation cycle. And right around the time that we were coming into the queue, as we say, um, a couple other schools just weren't ready to step in and we had an opportunity to do that. Um, there were some challenges through the capital budget, um, certain requests that were in there, um, we had to elevate what our needs were and um, certainly had a lot of support um, in Concord to do that. Some of our local um, political leaders were instrumental in helping that along. Mm -hmm. um, and just, uh, you know, the school board and the superintendent recognizing the opportunity um, and as an opportunity in a broader sense, not only to renovate the CTE Center, but really recognizing the needs of Salem High School proper and just looking at it as the, the ideal time and opportunity to do a comprehensive project mm. is part of that. Well, and I know you've, for the past six years, been working very hard, and it's uh, beautiful. You beautiful. as well. I know. <laughs> I think all we had each other, we were partners through this, and I, I think it turned out well for us. It's so how do you want uh, your students and, and probably your teachers, too, to, to remember you? Um, during their time here at Salem High School. What's, if they could say one thing about you, you know, 10, 20 years down the road, what would you want them to say? I think just that I was uh, an inspiring, dedicated um, leader, uh, someone who deeply cared about uh, the success of the students in Salem and providing them with those opportunities to advance mm -hmm. themselves and be successful in life. Yeah, well, I. I I think you're on your way to that. I know uh, we met Angela Valley earlier, and she, um, you know, couldn't say enough good things about being here. And she's only been here for a short time, but she really feels supported already. That was one word she said. So, well, she's a good one. Yeah, she really is. <laughs> I, I was excited to have her. But thank you for joining us, Chris. And we will see you next time. Thank you for joining us. This has been a Salem School District Media Services presentation. Watch this and all SSD Media programs anytime on any device at ssdtv6.com. For Salem School District Television, I'm Marty McHugh.